So I've literally just finished a game of chess. It was an E4 opening, I was black, I did the Karo Khan, and by move four you made a move which really made me stop and think. Um, it turns out this is called the Apocalypse Attack. This is a variation within the Karo Khan. Like I say, it's not something I've really come across too often. So as we're aware with the Karo Khan, it's the E4, C6 opening. Normally what you're going to see is the D4 come down, we do the D5, and he'll either push down, that's the advance, he'll take, we take back, that's the exchange. Sometimes instead of coming down with the d4, you may see him come out with the horsey. And then uh, once we do the exchange, you'll normally see either, you know, like the d4 come down now, or maybe the c3. What I wasn't expecting was the horsey down to here on the e5. And this is the apocalypse attack. And like I say, it gets a little bit wild. White has some really good options if we aren't careful. So just thought it'd be fun, have a quick look at it. Now really the right move for us is going to be either pushing forward the a6 or getting out the horsey to the c6. Main reason for that is this diagonal here is a big old weakness for us at the moment. Um, but we'll have a little look at that at the end. Let's just have a quick look at making the wrong move. So let's just say we want to get rid of the horsey and we push forwards this. Well, oh no. You can see that analysis bar just drop right down there. Main reason is, like I say, we have this diagonal here. Oh my gosh. This diagonal here, which is a weakness. And we've also opened up this diagonal. So he comes across, puts us in check. We can either block one of two ways. Let's just say we go for the horsey. Well, after takes and takes and takes, we are now stuck in this. He comes up to block and we can either take the rook or Stockfish actually recommends taking the pawn, and it has plans of coming across with this later on anyway. Uh, either way, we are not having a good time. Uh, let's just say instead we block with the bishop. Well, he can come across, put us in check with the queen. Our Literally, our only move is the g6. And then after this, what are we going to do? If we capture back... That is checkmate. Um, yeah, it is It is so, so rough. Like I say, just do not push forwards that F6. I mean, if we go across and do this, then boom. Um, like I say, it's just it's just such a losing position. Um, the apocalypse is just absolutely wild. Also, sick name, by the way. And let's look at another losing move. So developing the bishop. Well, it might look like a normal developmental move. It's not really doing too much, and it's still just leaving this exposed here. So clearly he's going to come across, put us in check. If we block with the horsey, then we are going to end up pretty much in the same position as before. Don't know what's going on with Lee Chess. And yeah, we are not having a good time. Oh my God, why is it so slow? Um, best thing we could do would be to bring the bishop back. Um, he will then bring across the queen. He's now threatening mate. So we have to push forwards the pawn. He can then capture... Um, yeah, Lee Chess is having a rough day as well. Um, if we take the pawn, then that is checkmate. I think I need to restart my computer. But yeah, you can see from here, uh, we have the double attack going on. And yeah, that is, there is nothing we can do about that. So as you can probably imagine, pretty much anything that is going to allow the bishop to here is going to cause us a bit of an issue. Um, so we'll stop this. We either go for the a6 or the horsey to the c6. There is an alternative where we can push forwards the g6 and go for the fianchetto. That works out quite nice. So when he comes down like so, just be sure to block with the bishop. Don't go up and block with the horsey or we're going to end up with that horrible exchange again. Um, so, I mean, you can bring the horsey to here and that works out okay. I prefer the bishop just because we're kind of directly attacking uh, the bishop like so. And then after takes and then takes, um, he could either go and take back, then clearly we're just going to take back with the queen or he could just develop as normal, something like the d4. And then we can just kind of go for the fianchetto and we'll have an absolutely fine time from there. I'd probably be pushing up that h6 just to get him kicked out the way. You know, go for uh, that. If he drops back, then do that again. And then uh, when he's staring down at this, we can then just push forward the pawn. Um, but yeah, we should have an absolutely fine time from here. Um, like I said, alternatively, just straight away, we can 
go for the a6 that is just completely blocking them from coming across and then after d4 we're just going to play a fairly normal game uh you know get out the horsey and then you know like i say nothing too exciting from there probably don't have to talk uh, through too much um you can come across like so and then when he comes down for the pin so Lee Chess is having some issues today, which is making this very, very difficult. So I'm going to keep it fairly short. Um, so the bishop has just come across to here. Uh, and we have a couple of choices. We can either get our bishop to here. Uh, I quite like, oh, the way that I played before was bringing across the queen to the c7. Um, so, I mean, if he does go ahead and take, then takes back. Absolutely fine there. Um, and from here, uh, d4 will come down. We can push forwards the e6, just kind of get this. Yeah, the bishop's a little bit stuck in there, but that's absolutely fine for now. Um, and then if he does go ahead and take, like I say, we can just kind of take back. Um, and from here, all we're going to be doing is just developing as normal. Maybe push this forward later, get him to take. We can then take back and we just completely control the center. Uh, get the rook onto the open file and get castled off to the king's side. Um, that would be the main kind of plan there. Uh, like I say, this is just a super quick one just to kind of show you just this kind of weird variation that I'd never really come across before. If you want to see some other weird variations, check out my last London video where I looked at just some weird lines in the London. Um, but yeah, you guys go off, have some fun, play some chess. I'm pretty limited in what I can do because Lee Chess don't work right now. So I'll catch you dudes later. Yeah. Uh -huh.